Okay, today is the first of five follow along workout videos that are gonna be 15 minutes resistance training, so easy for you to pop into your room right away in the morning before you jump in the shower, before you go to bed at night, even for you to do at lunch if you can. Because the most important thing is that we're building muscle and keeping muscle. This affects everything from our metabolic rate to how quickly we age. So today and all the days through, we are going all five days, we're gonna be using resistance bands. These are the two that you will see every single day. I have weights here so that I can show you what you can do if you don't have these. The reason I picked these isn't because they are superior to weights. They're a little bit different, but what makes these so amazing is number one, they are super cheap. You can get them on that big, you know, uh, order everything site, have it in a couple of days, like 10 bucks, and you can get three of five of these and what well, three of these and five of these or something like that. It's crazy, but they're super cheap and they're portable. This fits in every bag that you fit you have. It can fit in your desk drawer. You can take it anywhere. So what these do for most of my clients is take the I don't have time excuse out of resistance training. So today we're going to start our day one. It's a five day split. So if you don't know what that means, that means you're going to take all your body parts, all your muscle groups, and you're going to split it up into five days. That's a five day split. However, I do love to work abs, so we're gonna do that one twice in the five days. <laughs> anyway, how we're going to do it is kind of a little bit more beginner style. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of work with a 30 second break. We're gonna pick two muscle groups each of the five days, and we're gonna do two exercises for each group, and we're gonna do three sets of each exercise. We're gonna do a slow set, a fast set, and then we're gonna do another slow set. Now. Once you get this down pat and you're clicking along and you've incorporated it into every morning or every evening or every lunch hour, you can go ahead and add some intensity by taking that 30 second break in between sets down to 15 and then you can add an extra exercise to each muscle group. So this is outstanding, but today we're gonna stick with the baseline and we're gonna start our week off with back and triceps. Two things that we love because they look good in tank tests. Okay, so. Today, for our back, we're gonna do lat pull downs and we're gonna do bent rows. We're gonna do both of these with our bands. Now, if you don't have the resistance bands and you have um, weights such as these, okay, go ahead and do it, but here's what I want you to do if you're following along with us. I just want you to do a bent row and I want you to do a single. So, you're gonna be here and I want you to row up and row up. The key to this is a flat back, and we'll talk about that in the rows. You're gonna do singles, one side, and then the other. But for everybody else, you grab your bands. These lat pull downs, I love them. They make your back look outstanding. So you're gonna take what, this is called an infinity band. They are surprisingly thin and surprisingly durable. So I'm a huge fan. And I have a big love for resistance bands, just simply because of the way they work your muscles without taxing your joints. And I think that's huge, especially as we age. I'm 52, I'm not trying to get joint problems, <laughs> right? Okay, so a lat pull down. We're gonna start here. We're gonna use the palms of our hands to gently push outward on the band as we bring our elbows down and squeeze our shoulder blades together. So from the back, it's gonna look like this. We're gonna squeeze those shoulder blades together. Big deal. First set is slow, second set is quick. Last set is slow. On the slow set, we're going to come down one, two, and we're going to release one, two, three. So we're really going to put emphasis on the time under tension on the release. So it's resistance while we lengthen a muscle. And this really sends the build muscle hormones through your body, okay? And then when we do that fast set, we're going to work up that lactic acid and we're going to make our body produce some growth hormone. It's a beautiful Beautiful combination. Okay, so well, let me turn on my timer here. <laughs> I do a lot of live videos in our VIP group, and I pretty much always forget to turn my timer on, so I guess this is no different. <laughs> All right, are we ready for those lat pull downs? So if you have weights and you want to follow along, just do that single bent row. Okay, are you ready? So we're going to start up here. We're going to start in three, two, one and go. So we're just gonna pull down, slow up. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, 
One, two, three. All right, we're going to keep this up for the 30 seconds. We're going to want to make sure that we're getting really good form, really big range of motion. It's kind of the order of operations that I tend to use first. Make sure your form is on point. If it's not, that's how injuries happen. Last one, one, two, one, two, three. There we go. Now our next set is going to be the quick set. A lot of times we're gonna to need to go down in resistance to rapid fire these. And what this does is take you from an isolation exercise. You're still isolating, but you're adding a little function to it because your muscles are having to incorporate a little bit more to get it done in a quick fashion, okay? So we're gonna start out with our form and then we're gonna watch our range of motion and make sure that you're using a light enough resistance, whether it's weights or bands, that you can get the biggest range of motion possible. Then we're gonna add resistance or speed because that's the load and that comes after we have perfect form and big range of motion. Okay, you ready? So here we go, we're gonna go our quick set. Remember to press out as we come down. Three, two, and go. So you're just gonna kind of rapid fire these and you will notice when you're doing these that you're gonna feel the work in a little bit more than your lats and that's what makes it a little more functional. Functional means it's stuff that kind of helps us incorporate everyday movements. All right, we've got five seconds left. And there it is. Okay, now we're gonna go back through one more set and we're gonna do it nice and slow again. We're gonna contract for a count of two and we're gonna release for a count of three. We're gonna have that 30 second break. So, if you should feel this a little bit in your triceps also, so if you'll notice, we did pair our back with our triceps, and these are what they call pull motion, pull muscles. So they work together automatically, so it's good to work them together when you're working out. Ready, three, two, and go. So one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Remember, you're gonna press out a little bit. You should feel all the work right under those shoulder blades. <laughs> All right, we've got 10 seconds left for these. And then we're gonna go move on to a bent row with that long band that I showed you. This is the last one, one, two, one, two, three. All right, there we go, we're off to a great start. And we'll set him over there. We're gonna grab this. And during our 30 second break here, we're gonna stand on this with two feet. If you're using the weight and keeping up with us anyway, you'll just go to the other side and row on the other side. Okay, we're gonna start here. I love to wrap my hands because anytime I have a loose grip, I'm always using more isolated muscle, okay? So from here, cross your bands. You're gonna start here, palms facing your knees, and you're gonna flatten your back. So pop that tush out and then bend over and keep this back nice and flat here because we do not want any strain on your back. So start with a low resistance and move up so we can protect the back. So you're gonna start here and you're gonna rotate as you squeeze in so that your palms come forward, okay? We're gonna start here in three seconds. Two, one, and go. So one, two, one, two, three is the release. And remember once we get through here, one, two, one, two, three. Our next set is the quick set. Watch that back. Keep it supported. All right, we got about 10 seconds left, not quite. And last one, nice and slow. Okay, so the next set, we're gonna, after we take this little bit of a break, is a quick set. If you need to lower your weight to do a quick movement, because we do not wanna incorporate our whole bodies, we don't want a lot of movement, we're gonna use just the movement that we did, nice and controlled, but quicker. Okay, so if you have to go down, go down. Um, you'll have an opportunity to increase your load for the next slow set. All right, are you ready? So we have five seconds. Three, two, and go. So this is just like one, one, one. We don't wanna go so fast that we incorporate a ton of other movements from our body. We wanna keep it as isolated as possible. You should feel your triceps working, but keep squeezing that back. And those lats, they're probably getting a little worn out. So one, keep up that, that quick pace, five more seconds. One, one, and one. There we go. All right, 
right, good job. So we're gonna go one more time through. This time it's gonna be at the slower pace again. So if you want to, um, <laughs> my neighbors, if you want to um, increase your resistance, these bands are easy to do it. Grab a little bit lower down in the band. You can also go up to a band that um, is a little bit stronger. So, all right, here we go. Watch that back. Three, two, and go. Palms in to there. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. We really, on these slow sets, want to focus on the resistance as we lengthen the muscle. Such a big deal. As is the burning when we do the quick set, because that's when we're promoting growth hormone, which we also love. All right, we're gonna get one more of these in. One, two, three. All right. Nicely done, nicely done. Okay, so now we've done two back exercises, and like I said in the beginning, to increase the intensity once you kind of get used to the pattern and the exercises, you can take it to 30 seconds of work with a 15 second break and add one exercise to each muscle group and you'll end up at the same amount of time for the workout. Also another thing, there are a million exercises out there. These are not the only ones and I'm not doing them because they're the best ones for each muscle group. They happen to be some of my favorites, so I choose them. Um, so if you have ones that you like for certain muscle groups, please do those. We always need to be doing workouts that we enjoy doing because we feel great when we're done. So now we're gonna move on to triceps. This one we're gonna do one exercise, but we're gonna do it as single so that we're gonna do one side and then the other and then that will complete our tricep work for the day. So this one, we're going to use our infinity band again and we're gonna do a single tricep kickback. So from the side, I'm just gonna hold, hold the band here. Remember, a loose grip helps isolate muscles, so don't squeeze these, okay? So from here, and you're gonna press it back just like this. You're gonna keep your wrist nice and straight and press up. Now if it rolls a lot, you can wrap your fingers around it like this. Just don't grip too tightly, okay? Um, and we're gonna do that slow set, quick set, and slow set again. So we're gonna get a nice, well-rounded workout for those triceps, I promise that you'll feel it. All right, here we go, ready, set, go. So one, two, one, two, three. One, two. And if you have weights, you can do the same movement with the weights. job. Five more seconds. Last one. Good. Now hopefully you felt your triceps start to wake up in there, especially when we release it slower than we lost into it. And now we're going to about 20 seconds and we're going to hit that quick set. If you have um, a weight, you can be here like this. What you really want to make sure on these is that we're not bending that wrist and manipulating the weight or the band by a uh, wiggling that wrist. A nice straight wrist is perfect form for this one. And a range of motion is a straight arm. So from here, here we go. One, two, one, two, three. Now we're going to do four more of these. So you'll be able to have a video for each day that will complete your whole body resistance training workout. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, I think I was supposed to be doing the quick set. Sorry guys. One, one, <laughs> one, one, one. I hope you kept up with that. All right, there we go. Uh, we'll get that on the other side, so sorry. So we're gonna do one more set though, and that's actually going to be slow again. So um, anyway, um, so we'll get the whole body in, and what I do recommend, and what I love to do is these quick ones during the week, and then we get to have like a hip workout or something that gets our heart rate up and uses a little bit more body weight, which adds, adds some functional movements to the workout. Here we go. This one's slow again. Three, two, and go. So in. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. We are halfway there. Two, three. Awesome. Now we're not going to really 
take that much of a break, just the 30 seconds, just to kind of recover this arm a little bit because we're going to go right to the other side. And, um, and we'll get these started here in 15 seconds. This time I will remember the quick set on the second one. It's too much talking. <laughs> All right, here we go. We've got five seconds and then we're going to get started. Remember, this is what has a lot to do with your wrist, so keep them nice and straight. Loose grip. Here we go. One, two. One, two, three. You should be feeling that push with the palm of your hand. Form is such a big deal because it's easy to do a movement because you tell your body to do it. But to be able to do it and truly isolate the muscle, sometimes that can take a little bit of practice. Here we go, last one. One, two, three. Now we'll get that quick set in there. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna give it about a 30 second break. And again, this probably isn't the, the band I would use to actually do these, um, just so that I can breathe and talk through the whole thing. <laughs> I would actually use a little bit stronger of a band. Um, but I would go to this resistance for that quick set because that way I can bang them out, keep my good form, and get all that lactic acid. Three, two, and go. So one, 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 one. Now we got it. <laughs> all right, we've got about 20 seconds left. And you should be feeling that tricep getting a little bit tired of all the work. So I definitely recommend when you get to where you're going to be working out, you have several options of resistance. There you go, good job. And if you don't have these, it honestly, you can do it with this one, which would provide you with a little bit more resistance options because you can wind it up tighter or looser um, to kind of go from the fast to the slow sets, which would eliminate the amount of resistance bands or uh, weights that you need for the weights you definitely would want you know a little kind of variation of your weight so that you can get what you need ready this is your last set here ready one two one two three Ten seconds left. And this is the last one. One, two, one, two, three. There you go. All right. That is your um, two exercises for two muscle groups, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. And again, you can change it to 30 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest if you want to add one more exercise to each muscle group, but we'll do four more of these so that you will have a full week's worth of resistance training in 15 minutes. So hopefully you'll be able to incorporate these. Please let me know how you do and thank you for watching. Bye.